What's going on, everybody? This is Duke White. Thank you for joining us here today with Real Life with Duke White. This is our first episode, and we are so excited. Uh, so we wanted to tell you a little bit about what this program is about uh, and show you some of the things that we do uh, and uh, show you kind of what we're all about so you can get familiar with us. But we also wanted to make sure that you become part of the movement of Coming Soon Jesus. Jesus is coming soon. Yeshua is coming soon. Uh, we want to be able to talk to you a little bit about that. For one, I want to say thank Thank you to everyone who supported us throughout the years. We're a 20-year-old ministry, so I want everybody to know uh, we're, we're not new to the game, but we are definitely a grassroots movement, and we want you to be a part of that. And you can do that by uh, purchasing the Coming Soon Jesus shirt or the Coming Soon Yeshua shirt uh, on comingsoonjesus.org. This is a big deal. The shirts go from U small to 5X. And matter of fact, you'll be able to see them. We're going to be displaying pictures out through the program because we want you to see how powerful this movement has been. And I'm going to share something with you, share a little bit with you. One, make sure you check out our radio show. That's the first thing. Our radio show is uh, on Current FM, WJLZ, CurrentFM.com. You can hear it on CurrentFM.com. But if you're in the Hampton Roads area in Virginia Beach, Virginia, uh, in the Hampton Roads area, you go to 88.5 FM, 97.9 FM, 103.7 FM, and 103.9 FM. And of course, you can hear it all around the world on currentfm.com from 7 to 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, that's 7 to 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So make sure you check us out, WJLZ. We have a wonderful audience. We have a huge show. Uh, we have a really good time. We talk about some real stuff. That show's called Duke and the Gang. And Real Life with Duke White is an extension of that. Uh, so I want you to be a part of that. But I have some exciting news to you for, for you uh, as we do these, these, these broadcasts, these, these shows. One, we're going to film this show uh, in front of a live studio audience. So we want you to be a part of that because your support actually helps us get in other markets. So this is a real talk show. This is not some kind of like, a, you know, just some kind of skit show or, or something like that. This is a real talk show. We want to talk about uh, real issues that people are going through uh, in day-to-day -day faith. Uh, in another episode, you're going to be meeting Crystal Hollowell. She's a, a big part of what we do. And, you know, she's actually my babysitter. She makes sure I get stuff done. She, she takes good care of me. Uh, Crystal is amazing. And you're going to hear her testimony, her story uh, when she's ready and but we, you know, a lot of those things that we're accomplishing right now is because of Crystal. And you're going to be meeting her soon. But I wanted to take some time to share with you uh, why we do what we do and what we're doing. Of course, and it all starts with the Coming Soon Jesus shirt. So one of the biggest things you can do to support is get the Coming Soon Jesus shirt. And you go to comingsoonjesus.org and uh, you purchase the shirt. If you want to sponsor a show, you can do that as well. And that's, uh, it's only weird, $30 to sponsor a show. Um and it's the when you come to our live broadcast, which we're filming uh, our live broadcast, you, it's free to the public, so anyone can come. If you're ever in the Hampton Roads area, you can come to the show. It's free to the public, uh, and we have food, and it's it's going to be amazing, guys. It's really going to be amazing. Uh, one of the things that I wanted to share with you is. Uh, why we do what we do. And we, we, one of the main reasons is to stimulate evangelism, which is part of our slogan, uniting the body of Christ while stimulating evangelism by leading the lost to Jesus. This is a huge portion of why we do what we do. Um, the idea is when people see the shirts, when they see coming soon, and I need you to understand this is guerrilla evangelism. All right, you know how they have guerrilla marketing out there. This is guerrilla evangelism. When someone walks up to you and they see you wearing this shirt, they, the first thing they ask is, what's coming soon? And then you get to open up that conversation and show them Jesus. And that person has to deal with that. Um, we, we are so serious about evangelism and uh, so serious about opening up this conversation. We know that there's a lot of Christians that don't believe uh, in, the, in the rapture and don't believe this. But we want to talk to all different types of Christians and have these conversations and say, hey, what's really going on? Why are we divided in the body of Christ? We're going to talk about politics. We're going to talk about many different things that's really affecting how we evangelize, what we're evangelizing, the division in the body of Christ, the all of these issues issues that we're talking like all these issues that are actually distorting the body of Christ we're going to we're going to have these conversations and so we definitely need your support i think right now we need about 3000 people to purchase the coming soon jesus shirts to put us in a place financially where we can really stabilize and really do some wonderful things one of our end goals is not only just to evangelize but we want to create jobs 
We want that's one of the things that we're doing. We have a production team that we want to take care of. We've got uh, security that we want to take. We, we've got a ma- traveling that we want to take care of. We got amazing things that we're trying to do for the body of Christ. We want to be able to build churches, empower churches. You ever seen that show called Home Makeover? Well, we have a special thing that we want to do uh, where we go over and we just remodel churches and help churches get those building. You ever had those building funds, the, like 20 year old building fund, and not even a brick gets laid down? We want to help people get that taken care of. We want to go into communities and bless people over and over again. We want to do home makeovers. We want to help people get their businesses started. We have we want to do scholarships. There's a whole lot of things that we want to do uh, through your support, and we can do that when you uh, purchase the Coming Soon Jesus shirt. Um, as you see, I have the on the digital uh, fit, the uh, the digital fit. Oh, the dry fit, as they say. Uh, so this is says coming soon on the front. I'll show you the back. This is Jesus on the back. And then, of course, uh, we have them in different colors. We have the pink, black, blue, purple, uh, <laughs> camouflage. You know, uh, so you're going to see all the different styles uh, as the, this program goes on. Um, and we also want to make sure we have women's fitted shirts. Uh, so if you're if you like the, the clothes to fit tightly, when ladies, we got you covered. Uh, so we have something for everybody. Um, like I said, they go from the baby. We have baby onesies. Baby onesies are adorable. Right? You can't say no to baby onesies. <laughs> so we got baby onesies. Uh, so the, the baby onesies to 5X is how the shirts work. Um, so when you become part of this movement, we're asking you to not only get the Coming Soon Jesus shirts, but to be serious about evangelism. Like purposely go out, get as many as you can, but purposely go out wearing them and expecting uh, things to happen because that's what takes place. Uh, Pastors, the reason why you want your church to be involved in this is real simple. You want your church to be involved in this because when people ask where they get their shirts from, it's a great way for people to invite them to your church. one of the things that I've seen is that people have struggled kind of with evangelism with opening that conversation. Well, this is a way where people come and speak to you and talk to you. So that that's a part of it. But I want to show you, I'm going to take the time right now to show you some interviews that we've done with some very prominent people. This particular interview right here is with Ron Luce. Hope you enjoy it. We'll be right back. I'm actually here with Ron Luce. He just got off a stage for preaching. How do you feel about being here? Well, it's beautiful to see so many young people wanting to follow the Lord and both here and around the world, you know, as this is broadcast around the world. And so. Yeah. You know, you know, one of the things, uh, you know, that I was asking someone earlier, I said, do you really believe that America's losing its youth or is it just hype? And they said, we do believe that we're losing our youth. What, what, do, you, what do you believe right now? Well, all the data shows that there's fewer and fewer uh, going to church and youth group. And those that are going, many of them, you don't really believe that the Bible is true and all of that, but God's raising up yeah. a remnant of those who are hardcore, who love Him, and who will stand their ground and uh, want to follow Him with all their hearts. And a lot of them are here tonight. Yeah, they are. And I and I want to say thank you for being a catalyst as well as uh you know you know because you, the choir of the fire everything you did I've seen kids come back changed that that their ministries now I've, I've talked to their parents crying and things like that and I didn't know what else to do but I was able to send them to a choir of the fire and they came back changed wow, and they're still job. on fire this is from years ago when you first Amen. started and they came back so I have evidence that that you're changing lives uh, and I and I want to say that I really appreciate your dedication to the youth and being bold enough to stand up. You know, now I do, I have to ask you this though, because I think it's very important. Like, what is it that's causing Christians to hold their tongue back from really saying what the gospel says? Well, I don't know if they know what it says. You know, they're they're on the train, but they don't know where it's going. Right. You know, they don't, they, they're happy that they're safe, but they can't talk about it very much. They don't know how to. And you know, um, you know, maybe they, They've got the rah-rah version of Christianity. Yeah. They can shout and they lose their voice and they like dancing around and go to concerts. But but the thing is, is that if you really knew how good this news is, right. if you you couldn't shut up about it. Right. You couldn't, you know, no one has to force you. In fact, I like to tell people, if you don't have it burning inside you, please don't say anything. Right. Don't say anything out of guilt. Only say something because something's burning so bright, your life's been changed and you, if you don't, the rocks will cry out. You're, right. It's like, it's, it's like shut up in your bones. It's fire. You've got to talk. You got to do. You know what I found? I found very interesting is that uh, it's the 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 more you. 
put the word in you, the more dimensions you go. So you, you don't, a lot of people worry about losing their fire. Well, if you're using it, you don't lose it. You know, but, but I, I know you're tired. You just got off stage. I don't want to hold you up, but thank you so much you. for God taking the you, interview. Brother. God bless you. Real quick, how do people get in contact with you if they want to reach your ministry? Well, yeah, you can just say at Ron Luce on Twitter or uh, the teammania.com uh, and uh, find out how you can go change the world on a mission Wonderful. that comes to acquire the fire. Wonderful. All right, this is Duke. We'll be back. Okay, so you just saw the interview that we did with uh, Pastor Ron Luce, who has the, the Acquire the Fire. Uh, many of you may be familiar with Acquire the Fire. It sets young people on fire. But we had a real talk in that interview where we were talking about the statistics and how the uh, the numbers of young people who are walking away from the faith, it's becoming ser serious and very critical. This is another reason why uh, we do what we do, where we're out in public wearing the shirts. Listen, guys. I want, to, I want to explain this to you real simple. Um, we're trying to celebrate Christian culture, and that's one of the things that this show is about, is celebrate Christian culture. we got to get our young people something to be proud of about being a Christian other than just going to church. It's got to be more than that. This is about reality, which, again, this is why the show's called Real Life with Duke White. So we want to do something that empowers our young people. Um, I often think about how many people start off in the church and end up somewhere else. And the reason why that happens is because so much of the influence in the world today is not of God. You know, so many of the things that people are seeing, once you step out of the church and you go into what a lot of people think is the real world, they're not seeing the influence of God. So one of our goals, and this is going to sound crazy, but if we get the body of Christ to really work together and to unite this is possible. Uh, and so the idea is we want to make sure that everyone, the same way you're going to go out and see, you know, when you step out these doors or when you go wherever you go, you're going to see Nike, you're going to see Adidas, you're going to see uh, Puma, you're going to see all Calvin Klein, you know, you're going to see certain brands. We want to make sure that when people walk out of their houses, that the, it is going to be impossible for them to not see the name of Jesus, to not see the name of Yeshua, to not see someone witnessing to someone. This is a massive movement of evangelism. You can see I'm getting excited. Uh, it's not that I just love to talk. I, I'm excited because about if the idea of, first of all, of doing this for 20 years and watching it go from, you know, one box of shirts to now over 250,000, it, it it's a phenomenal experience, but it's time for us to spread outside of the Hampton Roads area. It's time for us to go across the globe. It's time for us to go into the, the world and, and really find our brothers and sisters who are serious about evangelism, serious about the things of God, serious about impacting the world. Um, we have several programs that you can actually be a part of. We have what's called the Ministry Rep Program. The Ministry Rep Program actually gives you the opportunity to help us get more shirts out there, and you can get paid from it. You actually get $10 a shirt, which is a huge uh, portion of the proceed, but what what uh, the reason why we do that, a lot of people don't know why we do that, why we give so much of uh, shirt sale to our ministry reps. And the reason why is because uh, there's these there's uh, these programs out there or companies out there that, uh, you know, have different where they, they you do that multi-level marketing and things like that. So I was inspired by that. And I'm, and I'm trying to let you in on the inside. I was inspired by that because network marketing was a big part of uh, why some of these businesses flourish. And I thought, well, that makes a lot of sense. And so we started uh, kind of like a network part of the company, but it's called Network Evangelism. We call it NEO, Network Evangelism Outreach. And the, the process of Network Evangelism Outreach is real simple. You know, you help us get the shirts out, we pay you. That's how it is. Uh, so someone could actually work from home. If Amazon could be built from home, you know, like, think about this, guys. Like, this is real. If so, we, want, we want the people of God to be able to say, hey, I genuinely work for God. So if you're looking for an opportunity, wherever you are to, to, to whatever state you're in, you don't have to be in the Hampton Roads area. You can work from home. Uh, we'll give you more information. Uh, then you're going to be talking to Gary Coda. He's one of our, uh, the head of our ministry rep department. Uh, you'll meet him later on. 
And I, I think in, in another episode or so, uh, he's out doing his thing right now. But uh, you're going to meet Gary Coda very soon. He's he's actually a very diligent mentor and a wonderful person. He's a he's an awesome guy. So uh, you're going to meet him. But the the idea for the ministry rep program is we want to empower believers. Let's say uh, you're a Christian artist, for example. If you're a Christian musician and you need help making just to go into the studio or making your record or making your album, we want to empower you to do that. You actually can use the Coming Soon Jesus shirts to raise money to use as a fundraiser. If you're trying to do your church fundraiser, you can use the Coming Soon Jesus shirts, that you can use the Coming Soon Yeshua shirts as a fundraising material to help you raise the funds for your ministry. And like I said, you get $10, and that's a big portion, that's a big plug uh, that you get for your ministry. But also, uh, if you're saying, hey, dude, we'd really just love to support you, first of all, we appreciate it. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Uh, and the idea, when you support us, you're not just supporting us. We actually use the proceeds of everything that we get to support other ministries, such as Current FM. Current FM is a nonprofit radio station that we are, they're one of our sponsors. They sponsor us with a three-hour radio show uh, every Sunday. I, I spoke to you about that in the beginning of the program. There, that 10 years of doing that has been amazing. Uh, you know, uh, the, the, the team for Current FM works very hard to make sure we provide great music uh, for uh, all people of all walks of life, all ages. Uh, so make sure you tune in to currentfm.com. That's a big deal. But anything that empowers Christian culture, we want to be a part of. So even as you see, uh, the, there's matter of fact, there's one of the things that we do, um, with our with, with the colors, we try to make sure we have colors for everybody. We want everyone to know that we we've, we're thinking about them. Uh, we we've got like I said the baby onesies all the way to uh, we go to five vex. We got we got yellow shirts, pink shirts, purple shirts, gold shirts. It, it's it's one of those things that we're not we're, anything that could hold us back. We wanted to tear that down. So we're not trying to play it safe. We're absolutely taking risk. We want this program to be something that. That revolutionizes evangelism and really creates a loud movement. We got to get our influence back, people. And, and this is not something to tear down anyone. We're not trying to tear down anybody. We're just saying, let's do the work. Let's stop pretending that people that were motivated to evangelize. Let's get out there and evangelize. Let's make it happen. And there's nothing better than when people walk up to you. And uh, we, have, we have a store uh, in Greenbrier Mall in Chesapeake, Virginia. Uh, that's where we had the store and we decided to take it to the digital, take it to television. Uh, but we, we, we had this store and, and some of the experiences that we have, and you're, you're going to see some of the pictures right now uh, of our store and uh, the, the little kiosk that we had in the mall. But some amazing things happened while we were out there. The people, the testimonies that would come from people that were genuinely blessed when they saw believers actually being bold. And I want to share this with you because it's very important. Most people are waiting to see the body of Christ take God seriously. Most people are actually waiting for that. They're waiting to see the body of Christ taken seriously, uh, take, take, take the things of God seriously. They're, they're waiting for it. Uh, they, there's so many people would come up to us and just start these conversations. And it was amazing because we would literally just sit there. You would think only Christian. We would have people come up and uh, it's, it's so funny. We'd have people come up that you really genuinely wouldn't expect to even care about God. But they would ask, why are you here? Why are you doing this? What's the point? And it would open up amazing opportunities to share the gospel, amazing opportunities to tell people about Jesus and his goodness. Um, and so everybody who was at the mall who supported us, thank you so much. I know you guys are watching. Thank you guys so much for everything that you do. You guys are absolutely amazing. Uh, and for all the support, so many people that gave their life to the Lord at the, in the, when we were in the mall. And because of that, that because of that situation, we wanted to take it to a bigger level. So that's one of the reasons why we're doing what we're doing. Uh, and we want to encourage you guys support. Uh, so one of the things that we're going to do with Real Life with Duke White is talk about some some of the issues that's stopping revival from taking place. And we, if you look at it, when there's movies like uh, Avengers and all these other movies that are out there, then they're great movies. But isn't it amazing that 
They can bring in $430 billion in a weekend. And a lot of times when the vision of God is going out, there's things that can't be done because people don't support. So we're trying to do something where we become a financial support system for men and women of God who have these great visions. If you want to make a movie, we want you to be able to contact us and we support you. We want to be, we want to invest in the people of God. That's what this company is about. That's what this show is about, uh, celebrating Christian company. Uh, Christian culture and empowering people. We want to empower you. We want we want the the flow of God to take place. If you are a musician, an artist, we want to use this platform for you. Uh, I think right now we're in about 30 million homes is what we're we're in about about 30 million homes. And so if we can bring you that exposure, you know, whatever we can do to be a blessing to your ministry to help you uh, to sit down and share your vision. That's what this is about. And coming soon, Jesus, these shirts keep us united where you have your individual ministry, but we're all sharing the same message that unites the body of Christ, getting people in the same vision. Uh, I wanted to share with you uh, one more interview. This interview in particular is with Samuel Rodriguez, and you're going to see that, and then we'll be right back. See you soon. This is Samuel Rodriguez. Man, let me tell you something, brother. You are such a blessing from the kingdom of God, man. God. Well, I, I saw you at Manpower uh, two years ago, and I was like blown away by the way you brought the word, and you're just, I could feel your passion for Christ. And uh, when I heard your testimony and how God told you you were gonna be this leader and you believed him and you let him lead you, man, I tell you, you're an inspiration for, for men who want to serve Christ. It, would, it hasn't been an easy journey, it never is. <laughs> I was 14 years old and God just spoke to my heart and said, you're gonna reconcile Billy Graham's message with Dr. King's march. I never got it. Right, I didn't understand right, it, man, right, what? Right. Later on, I see myself where God has placed me by His grace alone. Yeah. Understanding that there's a price to pay for the anointing. And, and the and truth is, man, you you crossed. I mean, you've crossed the line. You've you've gone beyond just the, beyond the church. You've crossed culture, crossed politics. I mean, God is really using you in such an extreme way. Well, by the grace of God, look, I, I live with one mission. That's to reconcile the vertical and the horizontal planes of the cross. Right, right, right. And people. Some people focus on the vertical. Other focus on the horizontal. I think the cross is both vertical and That's horizontal. Exactly it's right. both right. Righteousness and justice. That's right. Sanctification and service. Covenant and community. Holiness and humility. It's both the image of God and the habits of Christ. Right. So it's both Billy Graham and Dr. King. And a good church would be committed to both righteousness both the, and justice. Because he said the government will find rest on his shoulders. Absolutely. And, and that's so we know that God's not afraid to, to go into no. the political realm. You know, and, and I do have to ask you this as far as the, the Spanish community, you know, because God is really doing something with the Spanish community. Revival is happening all over America. It is. But most people only think in two dimensions in America, white and black. You know what I mean? So how, what, what what can you tell us about the Spanish community? What's happening? There's 50 million Hispanics in America, right? Okay. 50 million Hispanics. And the prophetic purpose of our community lies in the word Hispanic. Let me break it down for you. His, capital H, Got it. and then panic. <laughs> Why no, would you? I am serious. <laughs> because we are Hispanic. We are Hispanic. Oh, I get it. That's what we are. We're not here to teach anybody salsa, merengue, the cha-cha-cha. We're not here for anyone to buy more Taco Bells. Right. We're not here to make anyone press one for English or two for Spanish. We are here to bring panic to the kingdom of darkness right. in the name of Jesus. Right. So these 50 million Hispanics, they didn't come here to save their families. They came they here to save a nation, man. Right. And then that, and I, you see it's going to happen. You see, the reason why I know it's going to happen is because the way the gospel is received, and not only that, but it's being manifested. Absolutely. They're manifesting the word, and and I feel like that that the you know the over the last twenty years, uh, you know, the, the blacks and white churches have more or less we just read the word, but I haven't seen a lot of application, and I think that God's about to re remind us about manifestation. And at the end of the day, see, Hispanic have a sensitivity to the spirit of God. At the end of the day, I see a black, brown, white, right. yellow movement, a kingdom culture, multi ethnic movement where all the races come together under the blood of the Lamb. I see that in the next twenty years, we're going to see a, a black, brown part. We're gonna, gonna see happen. a white brown black partnership. We're gonna it, it has to happen. Has to. This nation can't be saved with a black church or a brown church or a white church. It has to be the church of Jesus Christ rising up empowered by God's Holy and Spirit. We gotta be willing to admit that we have strengths and weaknesses. Uh, it's, you know each I mean? of us. We complement each other. Right, right, right. We complement each well, other. Listen, how do people find out about your ministry? PastorSam.com or NHCLC.org, HispanicEvangelicals.com. You can follow us on Twitter on NHCLC or Samuel Rodriguez and Facebook Reverend Samuel Rodriguez. Now I tell you what, we gotta 
to do a follow-up story because I want to do a big production with you because I know for a fact that if pe more people hear your testimony, I'm talking about black, white, Spanish, whatever, they are going to be set on fire. I can't wait to sit down with you and do this interview. I'm yours. I, man, you, you are such an inspiration. You bless and me, I, man. And I just know for a fact that uh, <laughs> one of my friends who is watching, he's probably going to be watching this and he's going to flip out when he sees that I'm talking to you because he was there uh, and it was a, such a huge blessing to his life. So, uh, you know, I told Shout you. Shout out, God Raven in the Dump, yeah, right there. Yeah, man, yeah, God is good. So I can't wait for this interview. Get ready, and we're gonna we are on the current FM. We're gonna be calling in to do a phone interview with him. And I want him, I want you to be able to just I'm yours. do what you do, be set free. I just want you to just rip it up, man. You God, got it. God bless you, man. Bless you, my brother. All right, that is a powerful man of God right there. That is uh, Pastor Samuel Rodriguez, who is doing amazing things. Uh, since that interview, he was nominated and voted as actually one of the most 100 influential men uh, in the country. Uh, so what he's doing is phenomenal. And we're going to look, you saw in the interview, he said he would do another interview with us. We're going to try to get him to be a part of the show uh, and sit down with us and talk. So we work with a lot of great people out there who are doing wonderful things in ministry, wonderful things in politics, wonderful things in just in the earth today as a whole. Uh, but we also want to make sure you understand that this is a show where you have a testimony you send that testimony to uh, Faith Marie White. Her name's Faith Marie. That's my little girl. That's my daughter. Faith Marie White. But it's faithm at comingsoonjesus.org. Or you can go send it to Crystal Hollowell, uh, which is Crystal with a C, Crystal HW at comingsoonjesus.org. Look, we're out of time. We got to go. Make sure you go to comingsoonjesus.org. Support. We hope you enjoy uh, checking out some more pictures. But uh, go to the website, support, get the Coming Soon Jesus shirts. See you soon. Charlene, Aaron, and I just want to sh share with you just real quickly who Jesus is to me. Jesus is like the air that I breathe in and out every single day. He's the one that I think about when I wake up in the morning. He's the last thing I think about when I go to sleep at night. That's how much he means to me. He's everything, everything, E-V-E-R-Y, every T-H-I-N-G thing to me. Why? Because I used to be lost. I used to be depressed. I used to be suicidal and Jesus came into my life and turned my life around. He gave me joy when I didn't even know what joy was. He gave me peace so that I could sleep at night. He redeemed me, saved me, healed me. When the doctors thought I had cancer, God healed me. He is my healer. Jesus is everything. I could go on and on and on, but that's just a little bit, just in a nutshell of who he is. He's everything to me. He's my way maker. He's my promise keeper. He's my healer. He's my light in the darkness. He's my shelter from the rain. He is everything. And that's just not cliche church talk. I'm talking real talk. You know, when you're suicidal, when I used to be sitting on the side of that bed and the devil was telling me to take those pills and Jesus spoke to me. He said, I love you and I have a plan for your life. So that's why I love him the way that I do. Not for what he's done, but for who he is. And I just bless him today. And if you don't know Jesus, get to know him because he has a plan for your life and it's a good plan. God bless you. He loves it when we come to him, just like, you know, a parent, if their children are having problems, you know, even you as a dad, right. you would want your children to, Be able to come feel to free yeah. to come to you. And God wants us all to be set free to think big. And so many times we think too small. We think that God can do big things for everybody else, but we don't think that God can do big things for us.